How's everybody doing today? This is Uncle Chuck, and we have a couple of new iPolo V1 mini box miners here. And um, these are actually the limited edition model. What makes them limited? Really just some funky monkey artwork on the side of them. But next to that, they're the same. I'm gonna put this video together here today as a number of people online have been struggling getting these things up and rocking on the Wi-Fi. So I thought I would give it a go out of the box and uh, we'll see how we make out. Let's do it. Okay, I've gone ahead and done away with a little bit of the unboxing because by now we've all seen enough unboxing videos of similar models. So when you go ahead and you unbox your miner uh, for the first time, you're gonna get this brick power supply. Uh, you're also going to get this Wi-Fi antenna, which will be the first thing you want to hook up and screw it here into the back of your miner. And then uh, here we have it. This is the iPolo V1 Mini Limited Edition. And as I already said, really the only difference with it is this funky monkey artwork on it. But uh, I guess it's kind of cool, but I was more into the discount because at the time of purchasing this, um, iPolo's website had a $400 discount for this limited edition model. But um, anyway, to get things started, the first thing that you want to do is you want to, your power supply, you want to take those cables that are coming out of it and plug them into the front of the miner. And then you want to go over to the back and you want to plug in your ethernet cable here. Plug that into the bottom and then obviously down and into the wall. And then lastly, you can go ahead and plug the power in. So uh, now the next step is, is we're gonna head over to our computer and uh, try to get this thing up and rocking on the Wi-Fi. Okay, now we're sitting in front of our computer. So the first thing that we need to do is get ourselves an IP scanner. There's a number of them that are out there. Um, if you have another miner, you've already done this before, so you know the process. But if you've never done this before, again, you can Google IP scanner and a number will come up. In this instance, I'm using Fing. Uh, I have nothing to do with this company in any way. I just happen to use this. Um, I do have the app version of this on my phone, which kind of comes in handy because I have a couple different mining facilities. Um, so anyway, it comes in handy for me, but you can use anything. So the first thing you'll do is whatever IP scanner you use, you wanna scan your network and it'll look something like this. They're all similar. Now, typically you'll probably know what you have connected to your home network. Obviously some things are self-explanatory. This is an Apple TV, so I know what that is. Um, this is at my office, so I know that these other things here are miners and there's other pages these are all miners as well so i'm looking for something um in this instance ipolo uh, i have another one here that i've already set up in past but i know right away that this is the one here uh the new miner so i'm going to click on it and this is where it's going to give you your ip address now this you want to cut and paste this and then we're going to go back to our browser and simply paste it in here. And this is gonna take us to the front end of our miner. And the uh, username is root. Uh, and then our password is root. And then you wanna click login. And we are going to uh, get into the front end of our miner. So uh, first and foremost, we wanna go to miner configuration because this is new out of the box. Um, this is actually from the factory. So these are iPolo's uh, factory stratum ad addresses here. So the last thing that we want to do is give them any uh, mining rewards. So we'll get rid of those right away. Uh, but first and foremost, uh, after we do, do that, I should say, then we want to click on wireless. Now, it's, it's a little bit complicated here, but what we're going to do is this where it says I, iPolo 5585. If we actually go up to our Wi-Fi, and uh, you'll actually see it come up here. I tried to go down this road, and it didn't work for me. So what we're going to do is simply just, we're going to remove this, 
And this one here where it says iPollo wireless disable or whatever, let's just go ahead and, and, and remove that as well. These caused me grief prior. So now that we're here, we're gonna go and scan. Um, and what's gonna come up is all of the networks that are near us. Obviously, we're looking for our home network. Um, and here, this I know is mine, so I'm gonna click join. Now, uh, if you would think it was that easy, uh, where it would, our net would, network would automatically come up here, it doesn't. But we wanna click here to replace wireless uh, configuration. And here, name of network, make sure you put yours in exactly your home network. Um, if, you, if it's not exactly uh, correct as, as it comes up in your wireless settings, it will not work. Uh, and here is simply is just your Wi-Fi password. So whatever you uh, use to log into your home network or your office or wherever you have your setup, just put your password in here. And here, click on the lock BSSID. Um, the box uh, below here with some trial and error for me, it's in regards to uh, firewall, but click on, uh, for this setup, click on unspecified, then come down here and click submit. Now, uh, what you should see come up here is um, your home network. Again, this should be exactly how it comes up when you scanned it. Uh, and it should say the same thing as well. And then you wanna click save again. Now, that's a lot of saving, but uh, uh, you'll see pending and what have you here. So, some more saving. Save and apply you wanna click on. Sometimes this goes the first time, um, other times it doesn't. I was lucky, this time it went through. Okay, so now, the only thing we have left here, again, is the first box where we use to scan for our network and uh, here where we configured our Wi-Fi settings. So what we want to do now is to uh, go back to our miner um, and unplug it from the wall to reset it as well unplug the ethernet connection. So go and do that now and I'll stop the recording and then we'll come back, I'll do the same thing. Okay, we're back at our miner now so the next step is to simply come around back and Disconnect the ethernet connection from the back of the miner so we now have no hardwire connection to the wall at all. Then come over to your power, unplug the power, and then plug the power back in to reset the miner. And then we're gonna go back to the computer and see if we can get this thing the last step of running on the Wi-Fi. Okay, we are back in front of the computer now. We've unplugged our miner and as well, unplug the ethernet connection from the wall. And uh, obviously here, something's not working. So this is the actual IP address that we used to log into the dashboard of our miner before. But sometimes when you make changes, con configuration uh, setting changes to your miner from hardwire connection to, a, to Wi-Fi, uh, the IP address changes. So you simply want to go back to your IP scanner um, whatever it was you were using before, rescan your network. Um, I've already gone uh, to the third page, and here um, is my miner again, the iPollo. This was my new one, but um, as you can see, that uh, originally was 107 at the end, and now it's 108. So cut and paste the new IP address, then you can close that up and paste it into your browser, and voila. So the good news is, is that um, we've unplugged the miner from the wall and reset it. We've disconnected the ethernet connection. So we know we are connected to uh, via Wi-Fi, which is great. So again, you wanna, it, username is root, password is root, and there you go. We are logged into the dashboard, again, of our miner, um, use it with the Wi-Fi. So the next thing we wanna do is simply go to minor configuration. And this is where you need to make some decisions. Um, upon filming this, this video, uh, we're getting pretty close to the merge. So, uh, and I've already successfully set up another Apollo Mini uh, mining Ethereum. So this one I'm gonna set up on um, Ethereum Classic. So 
you can you can make the choice depending on when you're watching this video here and um the next step is to get your the stratum address from the mining pool you're using so again um for this example i'm going to use f2 pool so if you've never done this before there's other pools you can use but i'm using f2 pool uh and i've had good success with this uh mining other currencies so you want to basically go to f2 pool sign up uh and then once you sign up you'll see a box at the top here and you see different currents um uh different cryptocurrencies that you can mine here again i've clicked on etc so then we want to go over to home so once we're over at home here we want to scroll down and what you will see here is uh stratum addresses for the pool so we're going to go ahead here and we're going to click on the top one we're going to copy it then we're going to come back over to our ipollo mini and we are going to simply paste it in here now worker um this is going to be whatever your username is uh for your account so i will type mine in here and then um that's what i use to log into my account then period and then depending on how many miners you have if you only have one then uh it doesn't matter but in this instant i am going to put ipollo um mini zero two because i've set one up already and that way um if you've got a number of miners um you're going to be easily uh, able to tell which is which when you're logged into the uh, mining pool here you want to put some kind of password in here in this example i'll just type in x then down to the bottom save and apply and um hopefully it goes through the first time again sometimes it doesn't um saved so we can have backup here as well for this instant uh, uh, for this uh setup i'm only going to put in one but you could have a backup here if you so choose which sometimes it's a good idea uh, if a pool goes down your miner will automatically connect to a backup pool um so let's go back up here to running overview and we may have to reset but we will try to uh re fresh and we don't have anything yet but uh sometimes it takes a bit i also have a number of other miners some other box miners i do have some of the gold shell uh kd box pros so they're similar a little easier to set up to be honest than these ipolos but um we can see something happening here so what i'm gonna do we'll try refreshing again it could take um you know five to ten minutes uh so what i'm gonna do is i'll pause the video and then i'm gonna come back it's been about 10 minutes i guess a little bit less than that um and as you can see we are up we are mining um we're almost at there we go we just hit it we're at 300 mega hash and this is the rest of our dash rest of our dashboard here this it's all pretty self-explanatory obviously uh the temperature of your miner um and fan speed this is going to go up and down depending on how hot your miner is so we have been successful today um we are mining etc we're connected we've done our pool and uh so there you go so um thanks for everybody for watching i'm gonna do some more videos um uh, i'm not chilling anything um and uh you know to be honest I started mining about three and a half months ago when I set up and built a couple mining rooms uh, in two of my uh, two of my buildings. So I've got uh, I've shot some video along the way, and I'm going to post some more stuff upcoming here. So uh, a lot of the uh, the good, the bad, and everything that I experienced, the pain, the the uh, the blood, sweat, and tears along the way. So yeah, um, yeah, hit subscribe below. As I said, I'm not going to be uh cranking out videos every day like some of these guys but uh again i i, I want to share my story and uh all right take care we'll uh, see you again soon